restart our app we can see alert, alert, alert dialog shows up okay now we can see an alert dialog shows up and it's showing it's asking for us to update our app hello guys welcome to build codes in this video i am going to show you how we can notify or alert our users that a new update is available for our app when we publish a, a new latest version of our app uh, into play store we can we need to notify our, notify our users that a, a new update is available so let's see how we can get that done in firebase okay we are using firebase remote config to uh, achieve this okay so let's get started first of all i'm going to create a new project okay follow along guys i'm just naming it my application okay i'm just going with the default values let's wait for the build to get finished okay guys so we have created a new uh, project okay guys now we have our project ready to code so let's do it first of all we need to connect our project with our firebase so let's go to tools firebase and <coughs> find remote config okay there it is and set up firebase remote configs and let's connect our app first to firebase okay now we are we are in the firebase console let's create or add a new project uh, let's go with the default name okay okay, okay create project okay uh, now our uh, firebase project is creating so let's wait okay guys now we have our project is ready okay let's connect our app with our firebase okay now it's done okay now let's go back to our project and okay you, now you can see our firebase is connected to our app let's add a, a remote config to our app add remote config sdk to your app okay and accept changes okay guys now we have also added our remote config sdk to our app okay now we have connected our, uh, our firebase and then see is for our uh, app remote config okay now first of all we need to find the current version code of our app version code we can see our version code in uh, results sorry uh, gradle script and build.gradle module okay you can see our version code uh, each and every time when we update uh, our app or we add any extra features and we uh, republish it our app into our uh, play store account we will change this version code so we can uh, alert our users that a new uh, or latest version is available to update update okay now let's find how i find the current version code okay i'm creating a, a new function let's call it current let's call it get current version code Getting for getting to equal null and let's create a try catch and let's fetch the current version code. Sorry, get package manager dot get package info get package name. And let's set the flag to zero. And that's how let's create the cache.
now we return our package info package info dot uh, version code okay let's check that whether our code is working or not okay let's create a init value init version code let's name it current version code sorry and now let's bring that into our launch catch error just uh, wrap using string dot value of and we can resolve it okay and now let's run and uh, our app and check whether we, we get our current version code or not I have the I have given the tag name my app so let's type here my app to find the our desired result only now our app is uh, building okay let's wait for our emulator to launch our launch the app okay guys as you can see we have the uh, our code printed the current version code to our launch guide and it's working okay now let's do the main part let's let's uh, connect our app with remote Firebase remote config and let's check uh, let's check for uh, latest version code uh, from uh, Firebase remote config and uh, compare it with our current version code so we can give a alert dialog box to our user okay so let's get started let's create a Firebase remote config object sorry and let's name it remote config okay then we can start writing our code to fetch uh, our data fetch our latest code from remote config okay remote config equals firebase remote config dot get instance firebase remote config settings config settings equal Firebase remote config settings dot builder. Sorry. Now let's give a minimum second to fetch data. Sorry. First of all, first of all we need to go give uh, set uh, minimum fetch interval in seconds. Set minimum fetch interval. So let's give a five seconds and okay now let's in our config dot set our config settings async to config settings okay now let's fetch our data from remote config data means like just code okay fetch and active dot add on complete listener you on complete listener okay let's press tab to auto complete the code don't forget to add the semicolon okay now let's do a condition if task dot is successful let's create a new variable final string Version code equals remote config dot get string new version code version code okay we need to add this new version code in our remote config I will do that later first of all let's finish this part if integer dot parse init 
new version code we get back our current version code then we need to show the uh, update dialog box so let's create sorry update dialog okay now let's create our dialog method update dialog method okay. fine sorry let's create a parallel dialog alert dialog dialog equals new alert dialog sorry not build this okay our current context so dot set right here let's give a new update available available sorry available and so set message update now and create a set positive button set positive button and let's name it update and new on click listener let's get a new on click listener and press tab to auto complete the code and again don't forget to add the semicolon at last at end the end of the code okay now we can create a try catch right and we need to uh, when the user press the update button we need to uh, open our or we need to launch the or we need to pass our mm, the play store app url okay that means our link for link of our app in play store okay now let's do that start activity new indent then dot action view and let's pass our URI URI dot pass let's for example let's pass a uh, this will be the URL of our app with our package name okay let's give ID equal our package name and that's it okay now create a catch exception okay and we can give a toast message here toast dot make test get application context and give a message if something something went wrong okay let's give something when wrong Again. Later. Okay, and post dot let dot show dot show. Okay. Something is wrong here. We need to show our dialog box and let's set our dialog cancelable into false dialog box. So user will uh, so user need to update our app in order to use our app. Okay, now we have done all our coding part. Now let's go to our Firebase and set up our remote config in our console. Okay, this is the project my application. In here we can see, sorry. Remote config in uh, analytics, sorry, engage. You can see remote config. In remote config just add a key the same 
uh, value we gave here that's a new version code let's paste it here and set uh, so now we can set uh, uh, our default version code and it's one okay and add parameter and publish changes okay now let's see what happens now when we re restart our wrap actually we can't see nothing because our current version code and our uh, new version code is same okay now let's see now let's change this to uh, and update or publish changes okay we need to do this we need to change the version code when we republish our app with the new features into plasto uh, we need to note our version code of our latest app and we need to uh, set the version new, new version code in remote config in order to alert the users about the uh, new update okay now when we restart our app we can see alert 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 box shows up okay now we can see an alert alert shows up and it's showing it's asking for us to update our app we can't cancel it because we set the dialog to set dialog set cancel into false okay the only option to only option available for the user is to update our app when we press update it will uh, redirect into our uh, play store our uh, app url so, to, so that you can see it redirected to our play store uh, i have not published this app i just given the uh, url so it will not show okay this is how we can we do this with the, uh, we update our uh, we alert our users uh, about our new update of app using uh, firebase i am setting this to one okay oh, and publish changes and now when i, re when I restart up it will not show the alert dialog box because it's already our current version and uh, new version uh, latest version in firebase it is seen so there is no need to show the update dialog, uh, dialog box so this is how we uh, alert our users about uh, the latest uh, version update uh, using firebase remote config so guys if this video helped you please do subscribe like and share this video thank you guys